Hey, what's up guys? It's Chase from Girl Landscaping. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you our setup that is a super cheap setup that you can make $15,000 a month with in lawn care and landscape. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys this setup right away. It's right behind me. I'm gonna get over there close and I'm gonna show you guys it right now. Okay, so looking at the truck right here, this is a 07 F-150 V8. We found these tires at a junkyard that we were at completely free, so we slapped them on. So we used to have hubcaps. I mean, not hubcaps, we had stainless wheels, stain, steel wheels, my apologies. We had steel wheels and found these. So, I mean, if they're free, these look way better. We slapped them on. As you can see with our setup right here, everything's in the bed. We have no trailer. It's a trailerless build. This is a mow and go system. So if you guys don't know what this is, it's a system that basically converts your truck to a trailer. So basically if you click the, if you open this up, the trailer gate comes completely down and you can basically take your mow up there. You don't need a trailer at all. It makes it a lot easier. I also wanna to touch point with the fact that you do not need a super expensive truck. This truck, we bought it for $10,000, but we bought it about two years ago. If you buy this truck right now, you could probably find this truck for about seven grand on Facebook Marketplace. I found a bunch of this exact truck for seven grand, and we're actually about to buy another one. This is P1. This is, was our second truck at the time, but right now we're using this truck for landscape. You can see the wheelbarrow, and we're gonna be basically grabbing another one of these for maintenance because we have a full maintenance route and we're building a second maintenance route and we have the landscape truck for right now. Okay, now when it comes to equipment, what's the first thing we have? We have a storm sprayer. This sprayer is super good. I don't know how often you need to change the battery when it comes to like hours, but we rarely ever have to switch the battery on this sprayer. We could probably spray completely all week and not have to switch the battery and just switch at the end of the week. So I 100% agree with buying a storm sprayer, electric sprayer. You, they also have the steel pump sprayer. We did have that, but for some reason, it has a little joint at the bottom of where the hose connects and it broke and it kept just leaking um, Roundup all over our ass. Carrying on, we have the fuel cage for our no spill gas can. This, all, this is just complete mixed fuel. We use the steel mixed fuel. Right here, we have Echo 580T backpack blowers. We have one here, and as you can see over there, we have one over there. Right here, we have the OG W36M John Deere walk behind mower with the sulky attachment. Why? The sulky attachment is heaven. This is the best purchase you can actually buy for lawn care. This is about $200, $250, but you will be able to mow twice the amount of yards. You, It's impossible to get tired on a mower with it being a walk behind when you have a sulky. It makes it like you're sit on a sit down or on a stand on mower, matter of fact. Right here, yeah, we still are testing the Ryobi systems. So we do have a Ryobi Weed Whacker and Edger. They work very good. I'm not gonna lie. We haven't switched back to gas because they just work so well. And we were just gonna use them till they break, but they never broke. So I don't know what to do. Some The, the Weed Whacker head did break a couple times. So take a warning for that. But other than the Weed Whacker head breaking, that nothing has gone wrong with them. They kind of work completely crispy they i i don't know i don't you don't really need as much power as you think when it comes to stuff like edging i mean if you're not edging every time but here in florida we edge every single visit on the property so this has no problem the weed whacker has no problem we do maintenance weekly and obviously right here we have the other blower so we have two blowers because why this is a two-man route we have two guys in each maintenance route and that's how we make our money and here I'm gonna show you the inside of the truck because I feel like a lot of people always show you the outside, but they never show you the inside. Like they just completely skip what's on the inside of your truck because I feel like it's important to have an organized truck because organization can save a lot of time when you're funneling around for random like weed whacker string or whatever. It's It just gets annoying. And I feel like someone needs to show the organization you should have inside of a work truck. So right here, you open the front door, bam, nothing at all in the front. I like to keep the doors completely clean in the front. The front is completely empty. There's nothing here. Matter of fact, pet peeve. But right here, look, 
in the door vice grip this is the most clutch thing you can buy in lawn care if you hit someone's main water line you can only you're you're not going to be able to use the shutout valve for 99 percent of yards that aren't brand new houses so you're going to need some sort of vice grip to clamp on and twist that knob so you can shut off the water right here we have the steel whatever i call this the banana hacker this right here is how we cut palm trees when they are not you know super tall and we don't need the pole saw so sometimes we do put up the ladder but we cut them by hand because it's just so much faster uh, a, a palm tree that i can reach with this i can cut in about like two minutes completely cut the palm tree just go up there quick and hack at it with this and then bam done and we also use this as our mix fuel right here steel hp ultra look mind this this is very important you, this is mix 2.5 gallons whatever this gas can is get the mix that has the exact amount of gallons why don't waste time mixing your mix fuel like actually sitting there with a measuring cup mixing your mix fuel it makes absolute no sense and it's just going to waste all of your time okay right here we have two hedge trimmers pole saw attachments mind you we have the ryobi combi systems so we don't need to have full pole saws and hedgers so when we do have to do our hedges and palms we have all of our stuff right here we have a toolkit right in here it has everything that you need we keep this standard in all the trucks bam all the tools bam what is this tire inflator when you have a mower tire that goes down this will save your ass right there that's all of our ryobi batteries and then also right there is jumper cables just in case if you don't know when it does come to jumping a car i'll give you guys a fun fact right here if you don't have jumper cables and you end up in that situation where you're maybe at a yard and you don't have jumper cables at all a strange thing you can do that actually works with restarting your car is unplug the battery both sides positive negative for about five minutes just wait like five minutes ten minutes plug them back in and a lot of times your car will start right back up just that that i'm not i don't know if that happens if that works 100 percent of the time but it's worked for me in the past i never had to um jump this truck but i had a car before this where i first started my lawn care company in that car i actually did have to use that strategy and hey it worked so if you guys want any of these products i'm gonna have it all in the description so i have it all listed out with the exact names of everything to the t so you guys can go buy it for yourself and remind you this truck makes fifteen thousand dollars a month and i mean for i've i've seen people with sixty thousand dollar setups and making 15 grand a month or making 10 grand a month if not eight grand a month so hey i say keep it cheap make the money business is about making money it's not about spending money right okay so i spend money on my personal things i don't spend money on irrelevant things for business that i don't need to have i get what i need to have i don't get what i want right so keep that in your mind when buying your setup you can spend a lot less money. I don't know exactly how much the setup is. I'm gonna pop it up and this is gonna be tr truck included with the with the purchase of this truck and the entire, all this equipment, how much this setup costs. And you base it out, you base it out. Look at the cost of this setup and then look at $15,000 a month. I'm gonna pop it up right here, bam. And just say, hey, it's time to make money. Spring season's coming. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace.